Hello guys, this is Panzer36. In today's video is just a quick tutorial on um, the highlighting and washing of a figure. Didn't go into detail on the base coats, but uh, just because, well, the figure was already painted when I got them. <laughs> I got them at my local hobby shop. I uh, pre painted it. It was like the spare spin. You can just get free stuff there. I thought it was a cool figure and a nice pose, so I um, I just kind of grabbed them. It was a free it was a free bit, okay? <laughs> and, um, as you'll see up next, it was already base coated with the shirt, the skin, the hair. Everything was already base coated, but there was no highlight or wash on it. So I uh, rooted through all the colors of paint that I have and um, put up some mixes of paint just for the highlighting. So I um, hope this video helps you guys out because figures are always a difficult thing to paint, especially all the all the folds and stuff on the clothing and the face and all the highlighting you have to do there. So uh, this video is just a quick... Um, dabble into those mainly just use a couple of colors and uh the washes i used they were just basically like ak interactive streaking grimes that i thinned down stuff it was a pretty fun quick and dirty uh i wouldn't say build but you know work and uh, i'm really happy with how it came out actually it's not my best figure ever but um i'm really happy with it i also have another figure paint tutorial it's much longer and that's where i paint the entire figure with all his gear and stuff like that Yep, so I hope this video helps some guys out. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them. But uh, let's get in the video. And uh, just uh, right now, what I do next is I do the highlighting on the tunic, but I didn't film what the color mix was. So I'm just going to say that it was 50% XF2, which is flat white, 25% XF77, which is a gray color, just like a normal gray, dark gray. And then 25% XF71 cockpit green. And obviously that was thinned down a bit. And that served as the highlight color on the uh, tunic. Yep, so hope this video is uh, useful, guys. Hope you enjoy it. And now on the shirt you can see the the uh, highlight effect I've got. You're seeing just one color. Well, one highlight color, essentially three colors mixed together. But you can see that the highlights on this shirt not really bring some life to the figure, to the shadows and folds on his shirt and all the pockets and stuff, you know. So now I've given the face and hands a uh, brown wash, as well as the pants. That was a lighter brown wash. I'm just using I got these, the light brown, big mud splash wash for the pants, and then for the face, it was very thin down track wash for making interactive, which is a lot darker, but also a little more red. And, um, yeah, I, uh, I'm not gonna give the tunic a wash, dark green wash, and for that, I'm gonna use AK Interactive's Winter Streaking Grime, but I'm gonna thin down a lot to make it a wash. Uh, it still works, it's just, well, right now, it's just really thick paint pretty much and then you're supposed to streak it along but you can just turn it into a wash. I don't have any green oil paints or anything like that to do this with so I'm gonna use AK Interactive's Streak and Grime. So the wash is beginning to dry on the face and the tunic and stuff like that you know where I put the wash on. And what I did was I did the hair, which if the camera will stay focused. Uh, I've never done hair before actually, so basically I just took the base color, which I'm not exactly sure what it is, it's just kind of like solid brown. And then I kind of stippled on um, XF72, a lighter brown, and then I actually stippled on top of that some um, XF57 buff, an even lighter color, and just kind of stippled it on and kind of did some highlighting and stuff like that. That looks pretty good. 
And now using dark flesh from Model Color, Alejo, I'm going to add some highlights to the figure's face. This is a, uh, it's a lighter skin tone, but it's not uh, pale, it has a, like a pinky orange hue to it. So I'm just going to do it on the edges of the face and the nose and stuff. I also tidied up the wash just around like the eyes and stuff like that using one of these. It's called a micro brush. It's quite small so you can see but it's a, uh, it's not really focusing but it's a rounded tip. So without even any thinner I just kind of, you know, work at the cheeks and stuff. And then, you know, just get to bring up some of the washes on the upper surfaces. I like scrubbing them off with a toothbrush almost. <laughs> and now you can see that the face is largely done. If I can get the light there you can see Looks a bit shiny right now because the paint's still wet, but I think it's really nice. Don't don't really think I'm gonna do anything on the eyes or the mouth because it's kind of all in shadow. He's looking down. I did the same technique uh, with the face on his hands, the highlights on the fingers and stuff. So fingers almost done. And now using Aki Interactive's uh, enamel wash for Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation Something Else Freedom. Uh, U.S. Modern Vehicles, which is a very, very dark brown, as you can see. It's pretty much black. I'm going to give the figure's boots a wash. So here's the finished figure. I just added some um, pigment to the boots after I gave them a brown wash, and then I did some highlighting on the uh, what is called a wedge here in Canada. I'm not sure if it's called something else in German. Uh, just some white and stuff like that on it. Also, you can see probably a paint at the bottom of the hands. Great, that looks odd from this angle, but when the figure's standing on the tiger. You don't see that at all. Yep, so the figure here, if I can get the shine out like this, it's better. You can see that the highlights really look good. Also the, the work of the green wash and the seams and everything. And the highlights on the pockets on the front, as well as the pants too. I think it looks pretty good. Not my best figure ever, but I'm pretty happy with him. And the face too. Yep, so hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Just a quick tutorial on kind of like washes and highlighting on a figure. I got the figure here's already painted with the base colors that you saw at the beginning of the video, so I'm not really sure what he's originally painted as, but I'm happy with the result, so thanks for watching guys, I'll probably have a video of the tiger soon, so, yep, bye.